Mary here for our weekly Oracle Tarot reading forecast for what we all need to know right here and now. And I'm not saying the date because it doesn't matter when you watch this. Okay, so I just want to say before I began to all my Instagram followers, please be aware of the uh, video that you're watching. If the name of my channel is Mary Rose Intuitive, that's the name it should be for all my Instagram followers. There's an impersonator, as I said before, going around pretending to be me. DMing my followers and asking for money and you never you know that I never do that and I just want to just clarify that because if I say that they, there's likely chances that they won't take this video so that's why I'm saying that right now okay and if you want to get a reading from me you go to my website maryroseintuitive.com and you can book and schedule right there on the spot okay so I am working with the tarot cards um, is teen witch tarot I love this deck it's so cute and the sacred light oracle sacred light yeah sacred like a sacred light oracle i love love this deck colors are beautiful okay so to save on time i've already dealt the cards and asked the question for what we all need to know and i will just go card by card and the first card that came up is the ten of wands the ten of wands is burden do you feel like you've been carrying something on your shoulders like you've been carrying some kind of burden you've been carrying something something has been um, weighing on you something has been really stressing you out have you been feeling stressed out this is actually telling you that the more you stress out the more you worry well you can't help but feeling stressed sometimes but the more you worry about it the more you think about it and the more you think about the worst case scenarios the more you do that the more you're not going to resolve it nothing gets resolved the more you worry remember that we have to put down our worry we have to put down the struggle we have to look at what we are worrying about because it's actually just a made-up story and when we do that we actually take away from our light to, to resolve it so that's why i am urging you to work on letting go <laughs> and the second card is actually a phenomenal card i love this card it's the eight of wands it is something very fast and very unexpected coming something is going to just be like a burst of light something is just gonna bam like just something's gonna happen unexpected that's what it represents it represents something very positive so keep on keep an eye on that because something is about to open up hey we are opening up here I'm so happy because life is changing okay life is changing it's getting better we are opening up but there's a new world it's a new life it's everything is really really happy and positive well as best as it can be remember something you live in your own world remember the world that we live in is our world we have to try to make that as positive as we can and that is by well I always say this always um, familiarize yourself with positive people like-minded people you know always look on the bright side always keep away from naysayers and in some if you can't keep away from naysayers just trust and say okay I know that this is just this too shall pass I know that sometimes we can't help but be with people that we don't want to be with and sometimes people just bring our energies down but you got to just know that it's their stuff and until you know that until you realize sometimes the people that we hang out with they're not the real people that we need to hang out with because they're really negative there's a lot of negative people that sometimes we hang out because we think we're supposed to I don't know why I'm saying that there must be somebody here that needs to hear that okay I don't know why but anyways whatever it is there's a lot of toxic sometimes we feel that we have to be around a person that are toxic because it's just the way it is I'm gonna tell you right now follow your heart love yourself that's the biggest biggest uh, thing that can happen in your life that can make a change the third card is the high priestess the high priestess is intuition the high priestess is um, listening to that inner light okay and that's kind of like what the cards are all saying to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel we need to listen to our intuition we need to sometimes sometimes maybe a little uncomfortable is not really where we want to be but we need to we need to dive into that it's kind of like diving into the water diving into um, diving into the swimming pool and just getting yourself wet you need to do that you need to just get in you, know, you how are you ever gonna know if you don't try you got to try something something you need to do right now is trying you need to try something new you need to do it and once you do you it's over with and you were like okay at least I knew I tried okay and enjoying what is around you it's very important to be in the moment and I know I say that all the time and I'm just I'm gonna say it again I'm gonna keep saying it until you get it and I'm just you know what I'm actually putting the energy out there so you can feel it you know how energy tra energy travels it does it's not just necessarily by what I say to you it's by what I'm giving and what I'm sending okay it's my intention okay intentions are everything okay so remember that it's it's not 
not about um, what, like, I'm not reading a script. These are not my videos. They're never scripted. I don't script them. Maybe the beginning and the intro, might, you might have heard it maybe a thousand times, but that's about it. <laughs> it's just the opening. But how I do my readings and how everything is, is just channeled. It's just channeled. So this is for the collective. Okay, this is for the group. And that's why I encourage you to put your light out there. Put yourself out there. Okay, and I know I say that all the time, but you know, get a little uncomfortable to get comfortable. Okay, and that's what you got to do. Okay, and the th uh, fourth card, well, actually, this was from the um, Oracle. This is from the light, uh, Sacred Light Oracle. It is Sacred Space, and it says positive outcome, clarity, lucky attraction, removing obstacles. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just, um, oh, sorry, my light is a bit bright. It is just saying how amazing that Sacred Space is. Sacred Space is everything, okay? Even if you have a small space, it doesn't matter. You gotta create a sacred space because when you have a sacred space, you can think, you can meditate, you can, it just has to be your own. And now, no matter how much, even if you share a busy, 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 like a very busy, hectic um, home with some, with lots of people, okay, you still gotta find, even if it's a little corner, take that and have a sacred space. Now, if you don't have that, and I know I've gotten, I've heard a lot of your, messages in the past i always say a mobile sacred space you get your favorite bag and you put your you put whatever you love in it you put you put your cards you put your incense you put your crystals i mean that's what i would do <laughs> that's what i have done and i'm just saying your sacred things that help you go inward you know i, I used to put, take my little disc man because i used to listen to my D cds and i used to listen to my meditations and you know like audiobooks whatever whatever that is you take it you do it and you know by doing that this helps with the stress because that's what we're all working on we're working on to be better and being in a human body guess what a lot of it's not easy always being positive because we always tend to things tend to bring us into the other side we always got well not we always but sometimes it happens it just turns everything just seems to turn right around because of being in a human body and you know it's whatever it is I'm just gonna tell you right now I'm not gonna explain uh, the science of it okay but I'm just gonna tell you right now you need your sacred space because there's a positive outcome you'll be able to see it you'll be able to know it this is for you this is for you you know it's there your sacred space is in here nobody can take that away from you nobody can take the breath that you um that you breathe this is for you this is yours and love yourself that's the biggest thing when you love yourself you spread you it it it's contagious it spreads like a you know like a forest fire like a wildfire i don't know why i said that but fire is is very it can be healing but it also can be very negative at the same time so it's just a very intense i love fire i love water i love all the elements but always remember something it's the intention that you put out there and putting the light out there you bring in the light to yourself so sometimes it's in donating your time donating your energy to helping the other person just doing something nice i like to do these videos to just to say hello and just connect with you and I'm doing a lot of lives these day on my Instagram and talking to people doing readings and just you know what I just love doing do what you love to do you know whatever that may be whatever that may be I and one of the things I like to do if if you can't pick what that could be I always put extra money in uh, the parking meter because we had a little paper or we did now I just do it on my app but before that I used to just put change in an extra two dollars um, just in the inside just so I could give it to somebody that parks behind me and I would say here you go and just an act of kindness do reactive random acts of kindness you'd be amazed by how good you feel afterwards and they're just small things and if you don't have any to give then just smile smile that's all that's all you need to do smile because that helps to raise the vibration and that's what we're all here for right so I hope that that was helpful for you and uh, yeah I'm just saying um, I'm wishing you all peace blessings love and light to the next video <laughs>